On our recent trip to the States, we were lucky enough to fly in upper class with Virgin Atlantic. And on the way back, we got to visit the Clubhouse Lounge at JFK Airport, New York. If you too are lucky enough to get to pass through this lounge, here is what you can expect. Check-in was a breeze as we got to use Virgin's upper class desk with zero queues. Then we headed for the priority security line, which is usually really fast, but there were some issues on the day we visited, but it was still a lot quicker than using the standard lines. Access to the lounge is restricted to Virgin upper class passengers, select business class passengers on Delta or China Airlines, and certain top tier status holders. So it's pretty elite and gets you away from the busyness of JFK's public spaces. Once in the clubhouse, we took a look around. We love the styling of Virgin clubhouses. They are always funky and relaxed while still feeling premium. Virgin only has a few clubhouses dotted around the world, and they are all really special and probably our favourite lounges to visit. Each clubhouse has its own unique style, and the JFK lounge takes its design cues from the Big Apple. The centrepiece is the quirky ball sofa, although it's not as comfy as it is cool. There's a lot of wood finishing all around the lounge, and the lines are all chaotic and curved rather than a classical layout. This lends itself from Central Park, where the paths and routes are not straightforward, to encourage you to get lost. The lounge is surrounded by large windows all looking out over the flight apron. This allows a lot of natural light and really helps open up the space. There are lots of varied seating options, from comfy and cosy to secluded and businesslike. The seating options are definitely quirky, and many of them have the feeling of being style over function such as this super cool Men in Black inspired seating area. Great to look at, not so great for sitting. We found a nice spot with a great view out over the airport and got straight on with the menu, naturally ordering up some bubbles first. The service was actually really poor with our first drink taking an awful long time, nearly 15 minutes. But this is definitely first world problems and in the end we just went old school and hit the bar ourselves. Food and drinks could also be ordered via the app, stroke barcode on the table and we found the food came really quickly when doing this. The food menu was excellent with tasty light bites and some more substantial meals. We started off with some chicken wings, this was a double portion and they were really good served with an amazing blue cheese dip. I then had a grilled chicken and lemon burger that was excellent, nice and spicy with bags of flavour. For dessert we had New York cheesecake and this epic cheese board. We then settled in waiting for our flight while exploring the drinks menu, ordering up some amazing Amazing cocktails. Upon arrival, we found the lounge to be pretty empty, and for the three or so hours we were there, it never really got very busy. Possibly one of the quietest lounges we have visited recently. As only really Virgin upper class customers use the lounge, and there are only so many Virgin flights from JFK each day, this large space more than copes with the amount of custom it receives. At one point, we looked out of the window to see something pretty alarming a large fire burning away on the runway. This caused a bit of a stir, but it soon became clear that this was just the fire crews doing some training. Pretty cool to watch. Visiting the bathrooms was certainly an experience, with this freaky psychedelic corridor leading to them. There were standard cubicles along with combi shower stalls. These did not need to be booked so we helped ourselves to a pre-flight shower so we were nice and refreshed ready for our flight. All cubicles were clean and well maintained with a permanent attendant keeping an eye on things. Overall, we loved this lounge. It's right up there with the best. It's more fun and light-hearted than some business offerings, and we love the design cues from the city. The poor service was fixed by just ordering at the bar and using the app, and actually improved as the stay went on. We think we just got a bad server to start with. And other than that, the experience was excellent, and we hope to get to come back soon. As the sun set, we had a few more drinks before heading off to board our upper-class flight back to London. Make sure you like and subscribe the channel for more airline content, and make sure you check out our full review of Virgin's new A330neo upper-class cabin. Coming soon.